hello, everyone. Today, we're going to uh, do a little speed round of uh, Kubernetes project updates. Um, so I am Stephen Augustus, head of open source at Cisco, and uh, one of the co-chairs uh, for a few things in the project. So first off, I want to start with the Code of Conduct Committee, one of my favorite governance groups, um, and talk about uh, some of the things that they've been working on uh, over the past year. Uh, so first off, the transparency report. Transparency report is, a, uh, is an effort that was happening between both, of the code, both, both the Code of Conduct Committee as well as the Steering Committee. So Project Transparency Report is a critical uh, evidence point for this large community's members to understand the presence of the Code of Conduct is, is not simply a token or something hollow, but rather a representation of the project's culture and active accountability and restoration to ensure, ensure a safe space uh, for all to collaborate in the project, right? So super, super important. Um, what this means for the end users of the project is that, uh, is that their supply chain, right? And so this is, not just, this is not just the software, this is not just the people, but the supply chain dependency on Kubernetes is a dependency on a project with the foundational governance aspects which foster project health and sustainability. This decreases their business risk uh, in depending on this project. So second, read the code of conduct. Internalize it. If you see behavior which is contrary to the code of conduct, speak up. This might be directly in the moment that, that feels safe to you, uh, to the, the, uh, the special interest group, working group leads in the area, to your, uh, to your steering committee representatives, or privately through the uh, code at kubernetes.io uh, email address. As with technical debt-driven bugs in software engineering, the hardest conduct issues aren't typically ones where something was done deliberately wrong, but rather ones where we together allowed a situation to grow into something larger. Uh, so we wanna, we wanna shift left. We're hearing a lot about shifting left, right? We wanna shift left, we wanna start these conversations earlier. Uh, before what might be just a simple mis miscommunication grows into a negative pattern or establishes uh, unprofessional culture. Um, so this year, we also want to thank uh, Tasha and Ava, who are now Emeritus Code of Conduct members. And I'd also like to uh, welcome Valerie and Nabarun to the Code of Conduct Committee. Uh, so, steering committee, next step. Uh, so also, the transparency report. Seriously, go read that. Um, we also had annual reports for all of the, um, all of the governance groups within uh, the Kubernetes community. We started off with uh, kind of trial running the annual reports with working groups, and now we've kind of extended that to um, all of the governance groups within the community. So if you wanna see what your favorite groups have been up to, um, and haven't had a chance to do that yet, uh, the annual reports are in the kubernetes.io, um, excuse me, github.com uh, GitHub slash uh, kubernetes slash community. Um, the steering committee election is imminent. As in, uh, so a reminder for anyone who is a candidate for the steering committee, um, your bios are due today. Uh, so if you have not seen that notice, please submit your bios today. I believe the elections will be opening up. Um, uh, we'll, we'll be starting uh, more of the preparations next week. Um, and finally, there is a governance board uh, proposal uh, that uh, if you were part of the uh, SIG uh, leads or working group leads and so on and so forth, um, you may have heard from Paris. So please talk to your leads um, and talk to Paris about uh, things that you'd like to see in the community, because those will be presented to the CNCF governing board. All right, so I'm going to go a little faster now, because I see, I see I've got the, uh, the Jack Bauer uh, 24 situation going. Uh, so, SIG, <laughs> so SIG Security uh, SIG security is one of our newer SIGs. Uh, SIG Security has a few sub-projects that you should definitely check out. We've got Docs, Tooling, Audit. Uh, coming out of uh, Docs, we've got, so SIG Security works to improve the security of the Kubernetes project and the ecosystem as a whole by building bridges both internally and externally. We're providing space for community collaboration, knowledge sharing and learning, and raising security awareness. Uh, the horizontal initiatives include cross-cutting documentation, tooling development, and facilitation of 
regular third-party security audits. So if you've seen some of the security audits happening in the past in Kubernetes, we're going to keep that train rolling. Uh, now, SIG security is a community effort. It's driven by the people who show up and do the work. This is, this is big in open source. Show up, do the work. Someone will give you the hat. Um, the sub-projects have started with interested community members and kind of like moved into uh, a, a great opportunity to see a lot of, um, a lot of uh, again, interested community members step up to be leaders. Um, so this is a really great opportunity to, uh, to get involved in the community. So again, docs, tooling, audit. We've got hardening guides. One of the, the, the coolest collaborations that uh, we've seen in the community so far is the, the deprecation of uh, pod security policies and the, uh, and the rise of the pod security admission, um, which is a collaboration between SIG security and SIG auth. SIG release, it's uh, near and dear to my heart, but I, again, I'm in the speed round, so. Um, a vision, a roadmap. So SIG security now has, uh, excuse me, SIG, SIG release now has a roadmap, a vision of what we'd like to see happening in the project as it relates to, uh, as it relates to delivering Kubernetes to all of you fine folks. We've got more release managers than ever before. We've got new release manager associates. We've got artifact promotion. Artifact promotion is fun. You should all want to do it. If you've, if you've gotten, uh, if you've had an opportunity to work on uh, image promotion for any one of your sub projects within the community, you can also now do that with, uh, with files. Uh, Artifacts.kates.io is new, um, and we're still kind of trialing it out, but if you're interested, um, please talk to SIG Release, and we will help you get started with uh, pushing, you know, your tarballs, your, all of your fun artifacts into, uh, into a, uh, a location that is safe and uh, secure. Um, and then finally, we're securing that supply chain. Delicious, delicious salsa. So we've, we've had a lot of chats about, like, software supply chain security throughout this conference, and we're going to continue to hear it. Um, this is a pivotal moment, and I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna go into some of the spiels that you've already heard, but we are trying to lead the pack uh, by, by working through and working kind of across, uh, working across the uh, SPDX communities, working with folks who deliver uh, software bill of materials, work, working with folks who um, work on provenance and attestation, and all of these fun software supply chain security buzzwords that you're hearing right now. Finally, the, um, with, with Salsa, so these, um, this framework uh, allows us to kind of see what we're doing, where our artifacts are going, who has control of, of them, what build systems are running it. Um, that is, we're, we're going to be partnering directly with the uh, Salsa community and OpenSSF to build out this framework over time. So stay tuned for that. And please, if you have this kind of focus, help come to SIG release, get involved. SIG storage. SIG storage is responsible for ensuring that different types of file and block storage, whether it's ephemeral or persistent, local or remote, uh, it's available wherever and whenever a container needs it, right? So one of the big things that happened uh, this uh, previous cycle, 122, CSI Windows moves to GA. So if you want to check out the article, it's right there up on the screen. Give you a second to take a picture. Um, and they are always looking for new contributors. And I think that you can kind of echo that across the entire community. We're always looking for new contributors. Working Group API Expression. Now, Working Group API Expression is involved in improving the mechanisms to, to server uh, a, uh, open API from Kubernetes API servers and APIs authoring and expressiveness to allow APIs to properly and programmatically describe their mechanisms. So server-side apply has been something that has been, um, has, uh, has been in the works for quite some time now, and it goes to GA in 122, or it went to GA in 122. Um, the, the GA milestone means you can actually depend on this feature and, and its API without the fear of uh, you know, future backwards and compatible designs. So please go check out server-side apply. Uh, working group naming. We dissolved working group naming. We spun it up and we spun it down. If you are, because we did what we came to do. Um, when we initially started this group, the idea was to create framework and a process for the Kubernetes community to change uh, language that is not inclusive. Um, what that gave rise to was the inclusive naming initiative of which myself and Celeste Horgan are co-founders. 
Um, because we will be spending more time in the Inclusive Naming Initiative, uh, we'd like you to join us in the Inclusive Naming Initiative. Um, and specifically, the, com the community work stream, which focuses on uh, delivering these changes to, uh, to open source communities, um, as well as it, it offers the same function as, uh, say, a SIG uh, contributor experience or tag contributor strategy on the CNCF level. Working group Kate's infra, strike through. SIG, Kubernetes infrastructure. They, this is one of the first times in the community that we've seen a working group, uh, this is the first time in the community, that we've seen a working group transform itself into a SIG. Uh, a few years ago, um, we set off on a journey to convert all of the infrastructure that were, was currently Google owned into Kubernetes community owned, to give the keys of that castle to the community. So here we are. This is, this is the proof point. It's so important that it needs to be a SIG. Uh, working groups in the Kubernetes community, um, governance-wise, if you're not familiar, working groups are meant to be time-bounded efforts. Now, it's, we're not necessarily going to tell you how long it's going to take for them to necessarily spin down. But we have said that this is so important to us, to this community, that it needs to be a SIG. It needs to be long-standing. So congrats to all of the leads. Uh, of uh, both the chairs and the technical leads of uh, working, group, uh, working Group Kate's Infra for driving that forward for the community and all of the contributors involved there. The Product Security Committee is now the Security Response Committee. Um, Kubernetes is a project, not a product. Right, so this is just a little uh, name change uh, to reflect that work. Uh, thank you to all of the people who are on the Security Response committee who protect this community. There are, there is an on-call rotation. There is lots of, lots of work that happens in the background to make this community safe. So thank you to the product, uh, to, excuse me, <laughs> security response committee. Um, and SIG Dots, Ken has help. Um, one, hire technical writers. SIG Dots is currently, um, we're in a place where we want more contributors to SIG Docs. This is uh, an awesome opportunity to get involved in the community. And this is often uh, a many people's entry point to the community. This is actually where I started in the community, SIG Docs and SIG Azure. So please, if you are interested in getting started in this community, come to SIG Docs and hire technical writers and send them to the communities that you're working in. And finally, uh, a general join us. We are always looking for new contributors. We are always looking for people to get involved. There are a few links that I will give you a, a chance to, to snapshot, but uh, git.kates.io, which is kind of our GitHub short name slash community, will take you to our community repo, and you will have a full rundown of all of the, the various governance groups and how to get involved. Uh, Kates.dev is our uh, contributor-focused website. And then Kubernetes.io is kind of that ingress point for production level of documentation around the community owned by SIGDOCS. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. <laughs>